I don't know, center circle tonight. We'll uh, stand and uh, uh, play with this uh, in a bit, but let's see. Uh, last week, I think was pretty good, the response I got from people. Anybody want to talk about that for a moment, what you got out of it or uh, insights on it or uh, any great happenings since last week based on that, whatever we did last week? You can open mic this if you got something to say. Um, this is Russ. Uh, yes, sir. I I found that class really. Let me just. Uh, let me just. Uh, am I? Can you hear me? Uh, if you would yeah. turn on your video, please, Ross. Okay. Yeah, I found that particular uh, schematic presentation and uh, presentation of you know deepening yourself and deepening the situation and kind of making the two mesh really helpful uh, for what I do for work. Because uh, in law, you know. Usually, a lot of the stuff you get in the mail is is some form of attack. You know, it's not, "Hi, how you doing?" It's, "Hi, I'm suing you or your client, or I want something." So what it does is it tends to make you really small, and it makes you kind of like, Ugh, you know, and you can't really effectively do anything there. But if you take a minute to sit and just deepen yourself, and deepen your understanding of the situation so that they mesh together, it gets a lot easier and it gets a lot more effective because all of a sudden, once those depths, the depth of you and the depth of the situation match up, you kind of figure out what you need to do to make the thing, not necessarily to win, but to make it balance with the universe, whatever it Maybe harmonizes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny because just that afternoon I had gone through that experience. And then so somehow for a lot of times when you're teaching, it somehow reflects things that happened to me pretty much the same day. So I was I was kind of like, wow, that's crazy, you know, because here he now is saying exactly what I kind of intuited that had occurred during the day for me. So it was very uh, it was very illuminating when you taught it because your picture act and I, I like the picture too, with the little, you know, the the guy in the little circle and the, yeah, it's a great picture. There's some place. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. I, I really enjoyed that class. Okay. Here it is. Person situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I told my son about it too, because he was having a similar problem. And I told him I'm going to get him a copy of this, the YouTube of the class, but I haven't seen it there yet. So. <clears throat> Got posted today. <laughs> it's what? Uh, we posted the class to YouTube this morning, last night. Okay, great. Thanks. I'm going to forward it to him. I think he'll really enjoy it. Thank you, Ross. Thank you. Anybody? Anything? Questions, problems, great insights on last week? Well, for me, the, the clarity. Um, of uh, I've really been focusing on uh, oh, over here. focusing on uh, myself, my inner work. I I you know spent a lot of time uh, starting companies, building technology to try to change the world out there, the situation, um, and. Uh, uh, it's there's some challenges, uh, you know, the world is still calling, but it seems really clear to me that, you know, the, the work, the work that I'm called to do now is on the self. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from what I hear from O Sensei, if we get a proper presence of self, let's say, uh, that the harmonies of the center circle can really begin to harmonize uh, much more naturally. So, so that eventual self as an underpinning uh, of the center circle. Okay. So anyway, center circle is important because it gives us sort of a guide on uh, to get to a more inner. And first we use character. And then at, uh, for lack of words, through the character later, there is self. 
when we say self, we're inferring a more original self, uh, a soul self, uh, the pure self, uh, whatever. A lot of different names there. Uh, so the harmony of center circle uh, facilitates. Uh, well, first we'll play with better character there, but really the real work will be finer dimensions of things, uh, the balance of center circle for the self that's present there, alive with itself, aware alive with itself. So that's why we kind of, in a certain way, keep going over the same things because there's a certain, a certain way, potentially simple, ah, potentially simple. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Anybody, anything before we uh, move on? Hi, Sensei. It's Justin in Miami, except tonight hey, I'm Justin. in Kansas. Um, okay, Justin in Kansas. Hi. Uh, so, um, so an you interesting have family there, don't you? I do. Yes, I'm out here. Uh, my kids are moving into their own yes. apartments. Um, so I'm out here helping them get situated. Each of them, one, and then the other. Are they that old already? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I guess. I mean, if it's happening, they must be that old. I don't think they're that old, but hey. Uh, um, I started younger, so my hat's off to uh, them for adulting anytime. But um, but this is this is a continuation of what we were talking about last week, um, in the sense that I, I've had a chance to also I didn't bring this up in our class Zoom last week, but but I've had a chance to talk with my colleagues about self character, the world that the character is in, and the hypnotherapist that I, I work with, she's been in the game for over twenty five years, so. It's amazing how vigilant we have to be before we find ourselves in a tighter space. But, but, but this is what happened this week. She's dealing with, um, with an elderly parent who's going into an assisted living facility. And the parent um, I, I sense is having trouble finding um, wh what character she'll play. She's sort of adrift, if you will, and is very frustrating for her. And she's very um, irate. So this hypnotherapy colleague of mine, um, she comes out of this, uh, this meeting at, the, at the, the facility with her mom and her head's spinning. Literally, she's dizzy. She's dizzy. Um, she has wherewithal, thank goodness. So she tells us she, uh, she was dizzy. She almost fell down. She, she reached for a tree. She took a deep breath. Uh, she settled and grounded and she felt better. And... Um, for her, she's been working at this kind of stuff, but it was interesting to, to hear somebody else say it um, kind of back to me in the way that, that we're all saying this to each other every Friday night. Um, so that's all I wanted to share. It sort of was it intuitive for her to breathe and settle and ground. And, and then that energy in her head came back into those other brains, um, her body brain, if you will. And she was grounded again and she felt better, not dizzy. That's all. So if that old lady can do it, you guys can do it. This is not yeah. easy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, so Thank Justin. you for that. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Sensei. Uh, sensei, this uh, is Pat yes. Patrick. Yes. Hi, I wanted to mention yes, that the that question happen. that you were asking in one of the recent classes about who am I, that question really resonated with me. And I've been playing with, doing bodily movements, uh, center movements, circle movements, and letting my body try to, letting my body answer that question for me. Who am I? So I found that being open to that question has opened some doors for me. Patrick, you just, you just took my class away from me. I'm sorry, Sensei. Said. I'm gonna go get my pizza now. You guys, I'll catch you next week. <laughs> But yes, okay. Uh, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, we'll play a little bit with that. <laughs> okay, uh, is that all right? Anybody, anything? And we'll go start the next session here. You okay? Uh, okay, standing, if you would. Changing cameras here. There we are. Okay. 
Okay. Center and circle. Let's try this approach. Easy, of course, always easy. Be more present, always. Ah, easy. Okay, circle. There is a circle here. Okay. Circle. Easy. Double check my location. I'm the center of this circle. Ah, circle. Circle is a, a realm of, in different times we we'll call it a situation or the world you're in, whatever. Right now, just a circle. Okay. Now, the energies of the circle, let's use, uh, they move in. And then from here, the center, they re-beat back out to the edges of the circle. Okay. Easy. Here. Yeah. Energy move from here outward through the circle. From the circle, they come back again. Okay. So we're getting a bit of center to the circle, circle back to the center. Okay. I'm just using a sense, and at first I'm thinking, I got to settle down and get more feeling, settle down, finer feeling. Remember the brain map, settle down. And eventually we'll be at a sensing level. So just do the best you can at whatever level we're, we're at. Ah, there is a circle. The energies, if you would, within that circle come in and, and they re-beat back out with the sense of they're a little finer when they re-beat. Okay. And, and just uh, right, right there, the, this circle sort of opened up and there's a sense of it being brighter. Kind of caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting anything yet. Ah, circle. The energies in the circle that went out are now coming back and they re-beat back out. The sense is a little bit finer dimension. So if they're heavy coming in, they go out finer, okay? So just playing with that that beat, okay? In, out, better level, better dimension. In, finer, out, finer. Now, again, I'm, I'm sensing something here, really lit up brighter, uh, a little bit of touch of goldenness, if you would. Like it'd be easy to say, oh, a, a new dawning, like the sun in the morning. Easy to say, I'm sort of sensing that. Uh, so all I'm doing here is shifting. It's natural because what I'm doing is shifting its finer dimensions. Oh, okay, you got the game? Easy, circle. The energy from the circle come in and go out at a finer level. Ah, is that the beat? Ah. <coughs> Okay. okay, as these energies are more in harmony or at a better level, dimensionally speaking, the circle energies can create, mix a character. So uh, let's take, uh, let's check with character here. We've been doing the circle energies. They feel a bit finer or sense a bit finer. They feel in relationship. They, in, out, out, in. I don't know the timing of them. I could physically even sort of feel that. They, they felt sort of equal. It wasn't like out, in, in, out. <laughs> they, they, they felt kind of zoom, sort of boom. So, oh, okay, there's a bit of balance there. Now, when you get balance of energies, in this case, a circle and energies, there's a character there. Okay, there's a character there. So take a moment and check yourself. Ah, you're, you're checking the center of you, the center character that was created by those two forces, the in and out of the circle realm, situational realm. Ah, feel yourself, breathe yourself. Checking this guy here now. Ah, ah 
I feel more, uh, I want to say upright. I don't mean physical upright, but upstanding. Yeah, I feel upstanding. It's a flavor of upstandingness, whatever that means. Ah, character. Boom, boom, character. Ah, I feel more allowing, ah, as if I could listen to you and not interrupt you too fast. <laughs> Whatever your feeling, whatever your sense of who you are is here. Are we okay so far? All right. <clears throat> this beat I might use if I were in a situation. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, Ross brought up a, a law case. If there's a law case, and he, it's a little thick and heavy and negative. Easy. He said, be, be, this law case is now the circle. Easy. He said, and it beats out finer. First couple, I won't see any difference, maybe. But I'm starting the game. Easy. This law case. The energies move in and move out finer. Now, right about here, now I'm kind of fast, so. You might take more beats than me, but you get the, I just want you to get the flavor. You can have a, a better sense of positioning with that law case. It's, it's uh, not clearing 100%, but there's a, there's a couple of vague possibilities where I could maneuver or say something or uh, bring up something in court, whatever the right words are. Okay, so a situation. With the beach, you'll begin to see, sense the situation at better level. So by doing this beat, the situation itself is ooh, showing its finer dimension of itself, whatever the situation is. Is that clear enough? Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, go one more again, circle. <clears throat> Easy. Energy's beat out, circle. And then they return. And when they re-beat back out, I infer they're returning at a next better level. Okay, next better level. Come back. And, and re-beat, next better level. Till so eventually you can see, feel, sense, understand the better level it really you can see things that you couldn't see before that's the situation unfolding dimensionally finer ah again circle circle and and energy be out finer easy ah Again, I'm getting some kind of, I don't know what to call it, it's not physical, but uh, my circle feels a little more open, a little bigger, a little more open. Don't go crazy with the sense of bigger. You have to, and my circle is universal. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, stay here. And as it gets finer, it's finer here. So you don't have to go out into size a certain way. Okay. That's why I was saying they'd say, uh, it's right where you're at. Heaven is where you're standing. You can tap it here, through here, through the dimensional here-ness. Okay. Uh, so anyway, last one. Easy. Goes out, comes back in. Let's see. This represents another level dimensionally. And boom, re-beats out. With those energies, which are a finer vibration rate, ah, okay. well, better. Ah. Okay, all right. So those energies, because of uh, that beat, can breed a character. You okay with that so far? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we'll do a different. Uh, We'll work the center. Here we're working circle. Now we'll work the center. Energies move up. Energies move down. Okay. 
Oh. It's a hair deeper, it felt like, from that level of depth, a sense of depth, energy to move up through the body, down through this whole system, down through the system. Yeah, as those energies move up and down, soon there'll be a sense of a, a le levels of balance happening. So when the energies that move up feel kind of equal to the energies that move down, there's a certain level of balance there. At which time we'll check the character who is on the center line, character. Okay, but let's continue with the more up and down. Easy, from under, they move up. They return back down. Uh, it's kind of like to regenerate. Could I use that word? Close enough. And from that level, boom, flow up a little fuller, a little cleaner, a little nicer, ah, a little purer, whatever word you like. Okay? So they go out, can't go any further. They return back, regather themselves, and re-beat back out. And those energies are through the centered system. So these you can feel a bit more. The character can feel those a bit more. Are we okay? Right? So again, remember, we did a circle, energies in and out, getting finer level in and out. And there's a character there. I think I might have said something a few weeks back about somebody like enjoying being in a park or in the woods, in the forest. Oh, I enjoy this. And then I think I mentioned, well, someplace here, check and see who you are. What did that do for you? Meaning the character who's enjoying being in the forest, okay? As opposed to, I enjoy being in the forest. Oh, okay, but let's do, let's move along with this. Let's develop with this, okay? So, in the case of the circular forest, I enjoy the forest. And eventually, and I enjoy the serenity of it. I enjoy the visual beauty of it, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's your call. It's your forest. It's your circle. And... What has that done for me? Ah, who's the character here? Okay, so we do a circle to a character. We use the center as reference. Now we're doing center up and down. The easy energy is moving up, fuller, down, fuller. As they move up and down, there's a natural mixing, breeding, of that character. Ah, this character, uh, there's only one character. I, so we did a circle to a character. Here we're doing a center to a character. Same character, but I don't know what to say. The attributes, uh, for example, if I want more body, boom, body, uh, I would, might tend to use this one a little stronger, up and down. So I want more social presence, me socially, I might do this one, okay? But they'd still be the same guy. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to confuse you here, okay? But I'm saying the circle alone produces a person who had some things missing a little bit, like they don't have real depth often. This guy can get to real depth. Real, real depth. But he might be a little weak on being aware of the circumstances. Is that is that clear enough? You following that? Okay. Again, up and down beat. From under a dimensional level, a floor I sometimes call it, or a, a bigger pool of energy, however you want to envision it, come up with your own. From that deeper floor or better pool of energy, energies flow up through the whole system. And boom, they re-beat back down. And in that up and down, 
there is a mixing and you have a character. Character said, ah, oh. she's got more body presence, okay? Circular character had maybe more social awareness. <laughs> But after a while, I get both of, of, of those, socially aware, fully present, boom, okay. Uh, don't know if I'm saying this great, Brad, is that acceptable? Brad says it's okay, okay. Uh, and energy's up, energy's down. As they get fuller, I infer again, dimensional, the dimensionality is changing, and the energies coming up are, and down are finer. Therefore, they mix up a finer, fuller ah, character. Is that OK? Are we OK so far? Let's just go pause. And we're just switching cameras. Please stand by. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah. Okay. Remember, you have your preference. Osensei started as a centerer first, eventually caught on to the circle, and then to the uh, the fantastic blend of those two and the fantastic character later became the self, okay? Uh, I also started off being centered first, okay? And even now I'm trying to catch up on the circle uh, a, a, a bit more, a bit clearer, uh, trying to give it some extra turns to show itself how it works to show me the finer dimensions of, of circles. I'm, I'm playing a bit catch up. Uh, let's see. Other people are the other way around. They're situational first. Then they find the character and maybe center with the character, okay? Or maybe get a character and they're, they're there as a character, but they're not as full as they could be. That's when we bring the center part in. So we get both of them, both of them, okay? So, uh, hmm. so some people are circle first, other people are center first. Is that, is that okay? Right. Uh, if you're gonna play with center and circle, just, just be aware of which one that you're doing so you don't try to confuse yourself. That's why I like to move my hands, okay? This is the circle. And within the circle, energies are moving in and out. Within the situation, finer dimensions. In, out, settle. So I can start to sense, feel them. Boom, in and out. This up and down. So I just try to be clear so I know which piece that I'm working. Okay. Uh, is that is that clear enough? Let's take a pause. You can open mic anything that I miss anything too badly there. Let's say this is uh, Tija. Hey, Tija. Um, one thing that I just appreciated about that last practice was that how the character shows up. So for me, the character shows up as qualities. <laughs> so the I'm character starting with qualities. Is that yeah, like... character with qualities? Yeah, yeah it's for not example. Just, yeah, for for example, uh, a certain calmness um, would be would be one of the things that, uh, that begins to that I was feeling began to take place. Another one was. Uh, as I opened up, there was greater spatial awareness. It wasn't necessarily social awareness, but it was spatial awareness. There was also a way in which 
I was a little liberated from the situation because I was kind of working with Ross's thing there just to feel what the what the law case was like and the pressure that that is. Mm -hmm. So as I as I did, I had a little um, spaciousness. It wasn't spaced outness, but it was spaciousness. So those those qualities uh, connected as uh, as character. And yeah. I'd be interested in people being clear on the character of the circle and what you, what your sense was, what your philosophy was, what your take. Mm -hmm. And then the character, just work in the center line character. Uh, were they a bit different? Did you feel different uh, kind of thing? So, uh, so just playing this game of this creates a character and this creates a character. Later, in the fullness of it, it's one full character. It's really full, full. Okay, so yeah. So the anyway. the, the the circle was definitely spatial awareness. It yes. was also a, a a release kind of of any kind of. Uh, I was releasing the pressure as I was working with Ross's piece. The the up and down was creating that sense of depth. So it was not just. Uh, it was a presence of centeredness. Um, I know that we use that word a lot, but it was it was a, a, a sense of at homeness in the in the center line. Yeah, at homeness. Yeah. And when the characters more at home or better dimensional level character, you mentioned calm. Yeah, it might be calm or what whatever. Yeah. Calm, but not sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, somebody? Anything here? Uh, yeah, Sensei uh, Bob here. Yeah. Uh, my character had to do with teaching classes I have coming up tomorrow. Okay. The circle bred a character more student oriented in terms of what the students are feeling and reacting, the center more instructor oriented. And how I'm feeling as the instructor presenting the class. And so that was a very distinct yeah. difference. Distinct, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said, uh, uh, yeah, that's why I think that's a good explanation for what I tried to say about the character of the circle would be more, uh, uh, I would think, socially aware or aware of the class and what they need. This guy is now, how am I going to present this to the, me? How do I present this? What do I do? Kind of thing, a little more of this. Yeah. Uh, and where we could get off balance, for example, uh, uh, this is the sideline here, but catching my attention. Uh, if you're just in a circle and you're aware of the, what the class needs, you could overdo that. And where the class is telling you what to teach instead of you should know better what to teach. Okay, so you're trying to be too democratic or something. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? Uh, you know, uh, what do they know about what to do? You're the teacher, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Uh, and so within reason, but you can see where that could go overboard. <laughs> the off balance this possibility. So that's why we have to, uh, I'd like you to be aware of the uh, balance of things, how things work. So we don't go overboard on one or the other or where we're Anyway, blah, 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 let that go. Uh, oh my God. Uh, let me, um, uh, or if, if I can move, not my best day today. Uh, changing, yes. Now, for example, uh, let's say an Aikido uh, practice is, uh, I call it two step, is that what most people call it? This, that practice? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, now generally people do that in the normal exercise form. I've got to do it faster. And I got to do it stronger, okay? Uh, or how many can I do in in in, in a minute? Mm -hmm. Fine, fine. But that's what 
anybody who's an athlete will do. The kids in grammar school will practice that way. High school, they'll practice that way. College, they'll practice that way. That's, that's sort of that form. We like to do more inner. So here, for example, I might look at this like, okay, there is a circle and a center, checking center. Center, circle, easy. There's the center, there's the circle, circle, center, easy. Double checking center, sir. Center in the circle. Now they're starting to come together a little bit better. Center in the circle. A anyway, so I do a basic practice like that, but I do it as inner work. Inner going to finer dimensions, finer dimensions. So where the uh, uh, let me do it the other way around. Here, it's not just an idea of center. Feel it. Feel it. So back in the day, right there on that move, often we'd have a partner come push our hip to make sure it was really center and not just some idea. Oh, yes, yeah, circle and center. Circle and center. Yes, I understand circle and center. Uh, Got to be in the middle of this, okay? So those energies can mix up a better character. Eventually the energy is finer and finer and finer. True self is there through the character, all here. And here and now, don't go anywhere, Osensei said. Okay, so, uh, so I can understand the difference between exercising for an outward thing, which is kind of normal, and training for an inner development, inner awareness, inner inquiry. Okay, so the finer dimensions can unfold within your system or within that practice, okay? And a practice like that, I would do it for quite a while to give it time to go dimensionally better. Did I say anything intelligent there? You can open mic. Well, you know, it seems like equalizing self with um, the situation is quite similar to equalizing your center with your circle, right? I mean, that's what that practice to me was. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're all, they kind of like, to the extent that I'm separate from the situations I'm in, it's probably to the extent on which my center and circle aren't super hooked up either. You know, they that's all- the same thing. Yeah. It's exactly. not the same thing, those, those, those words may overlay, they're the same words. If I say circle, I mean situation, I mean circumstances, I mean this guy who's circling around, coming to attack me. Uh, that's all the same thing. It's not a, a whole different set of rules. <laughs> a court case is a situation. <laughs> Boom. A traffic da 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 is a situation. It's all the basically the same thing. <laughs> and in heavy duty traffic, cars coming at me and they're going to crush into me. This will change in relation. Center will mix according to the situation. Okay. Uh, if the situation needs uh, empathy, probably the energies will mix up. An empathic person, is that the right word? <laughs> okay. If the situation is uh, uh, on the street attack, the energies will naturally create he who runs or he who punches back or he who talks the crazy guy down. I don't know, I trust the energies. But whenever there's a situation, there's gonna be a character. And as we get better and better with this, the center is equal to the situation and the situation helps produce the character. They work in tandem. So yeah, they work in harmony in tandem. And it's kind of natural. We just haven't given them a little room so they can work, okay? So as opposed to trying to control them better to 
open to them. When I say easy the eye, that just means easy your control factor and let these energies, they're trying to be harmonious. They're trying to harmonize situation to center and center the situation, okay? Or character to situation, situation to character. That's what they wanna do. Ah, I just have to settle to get to a finer dimension, easy the eye, so that the energies are freer and at a finer level, the more finely, in a finer manner, come together and work harmoniously. Yeah. Okay. That should be basic, right? I hope. Okay, let me, somebody, anything before I move on? No? Okay. Yes. It's Danny. Danny? Yeah. 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 Uh, speak up, Danny. Okay, I'm getting closer to the mic. Um, I, I've been wondering how to um, articulate what I've been feeling. So, but um, something about the um, the center and the circle and the character that came to me was was the listener. Was the listener. 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 And with it came a, a very lovely feeling. It was felt like the center and it was patience. And it was something that I could lean into and really relax. And, um, and then a, a strong color showed that it was very bright yellow. And that beating to and fro that you were talking about, I could feel the edges of of the circle and and beating back to a point and it was like it was floating backwards and forward to a, a very fine point and then I I'm not sure to say this but it felt like I was in soul somehow soul where everything existed and that patience was all I needed. It, everything was there. All the questions could be answered in that place. Um, a lot of space, like teacher said, there was clarity. It was very, very strong and still affected by it. Anyway, over to you, please. Okay. I like that, uh, what it said. It's all here. All the answers are here. But we have to position, oh, how to say this? We have to position. So the answers are allowed to unfold. Easy, be patient there, be calm, clear, or maybe it's a self-location, I don't know, uh, or a very advanced character, calmly. I let the situation give the answers about the problem situation kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, it's an interesting place to be. Uh, we better move on. I thought um, I would throw out a couple of those sensei things that you might be interested in. Um, let's see which one I want to start with. I, there was one chant he used uh, a fair amount of time. Yai yu ye yo, mami mu me mo. Okay, let's look at that chant uh, a bit with this in mind here. <clears throat> I'm going to use it in the way that I use it. That doesn't mean you have to use it that way. So I'm going to use ya yi yu ye yo for the circle. Out to the center, which responds mami mu memo. Back to this center. Okay. You want to use it the other way around? Feel free. Okay. Oh, it's, when I ask some often, I'll send a question about, well, uh, uh, which way is which? 
he'd say, just be, uh, what word did he use? Uh, constant, constant. Uh, consistent. Consistent. Huh? consistent. Consistent, thank you. Yes, consistent. That's what he said. Just be consistent, okay? And uh, so, uh, all right, so you want to chant with me? So, uh, uh, and whichever style you want to do. Again, I'm going to do center as if the center is radiating outward towards the circle. And the center chants out, touches the circle, if you would, and the circle feeling that touch responds. Mami mu me mo. Kind of like lovers calling out to each other. Something birds might do. I have a couple of blue jays nesting in my yard, so I'm with the birds this week. They, they call out to each other somehow. Okay. okay. So that's one sense I have. Ready? Center. It responds, Mami Mu Me Mo. Now, to move you along, to remind you, it's not just words, yeah, 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 Mami Mu Me Mo. It's not just words that are out of your mouth. As you settle and you get past thinking, a little more feeling, you'll get into a finer sense feeling eventually. This is a vibration of those sounds. Touch is a vibration that responds. So after a bit, the, the sounds are just um, a cover, a label for those energy vibrations. Is that, is that okay? So don't keep chanting from up here, mouthing, so to speak. Okay, in the sense of it's radiating outward and it comes back and it's radiating and it touches the center a bit fuller. Okay, again, from the center, do my way right now, from the center. Mommy. I'm starting to change. It's starting to feel more 360. So it's definitely not out here. Ha! Ah, it's starting to feel more 360. There's a, the beginning of a sense feeling of, of this motion. Okay. And one more. And do my way right now. From center radiates, I could say. <clears throat> Comes back, responding, mommy. And again, as you get into sense, sense feeling, finer sense, uh, you, you can feel the uh, balance that that they feel the same size or uh, equal in fiber vibration rates or something, but just just something, okay. Uh, now, when you get twos, okay, the character, okay, so you get a certain level of harmony. Those energy harmonies create, mix, breed, find your own word, a character, a character. So the character whose parents are Yayi and Mommy, the character, okay? You hang out there and feel the character. Don't just think about them because you want to be fully present. Okay, it's not conceptual that way without this being here. Very, very important. 
So the harmony of two energies, character. Then as you hang out with character for a while, then you could go back to, okay, now this level of being and kick it off again. Yeah, you, yeah, yo. Mommy, move, Since you definitely had a finer dimension because you did quite a few, got to obviously you could, should experience a better character. And you move on again. Boom, 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 boom. Is that okay? So that's what I did with that chant of O oh, Sensei's. Uh, That's how I thought, for me, it felt best to do a yagi to a mommy. But again, do whatever, just be consistent, okay? Ah. Another thing of Sensei did that's similar to what we're doing is uh, fire water steam. Uh, Okay, my sense of, and that was uh, a, a, a fairly common practice for him. I think I'll change cameras on this one. Uh, I'll, I'll just do uh, a, a short form of it. Oh, Sensei probably did a center and circle, the great universal of things with his fire water. And so when I first you, started if, to play with fire. Say, excuse me, if you yeah. could step back Towards the man, towards the calligraphy, one step. Thank you. One more step, please. Thank you. So we now can you're looking at us. That's great. Thank you. Oh, Richard, that that precludes that I wanted to look at you guys. Yes, but at least now we can see all of you. But Bob, we wanted to look at you. <laughs> okay, the fan all club. All of me. Down. Why Sensei, not please. take all of? Come on, give me all. Dozo. Dozo. Anyway, stop. <laughs> okay, fire water. Okay, I'm going to do a short form because that's the one I first started practicing. Uh, but keep in mind, there's a greater form. Uh, fire up. Water comes down. Okay. They'll uh, dimensionally improve. After a while, your sense of fire will feel fuller, uh, like more intense fire. Your sense of it will be. Water comes down equal to it. So, for example, as my fire intensity increases, the water uh, thickness, no, the water weight, the water, give me a word here. Density. 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 Yeah, it's just fuller, volume. fuller water. Yeah. Volume. Okay. Now. Where's he going with that? The basics again, from a finer dimension, fire moves up through the system. Water, its counterpart moves down through the system. They uh, touches that same underfloor, the water does. And after a while, as they harmonize more and more, there'll be a sense of steaming Okay, so fire, water, steam, steam, steam. Okay, now steam at the end, again, it's more than one level of steam, dimensionally speaking, uh, infers a balance. Okay, so your first steam is not the end of the game, but it represents a balance. Okay, now I like to go a little deeper with it. So I'm not just, okay, I'm steam. No, 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 no. There is steam to tell you there's harmony. And through the steam, first we do character. Who are you? Steam. Well, I definitely uh, feel cleaner. Uh, I feel sharper, better, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Later, we'll uh, pass through character to self. We're not quite ready for self yet, but soon. So balance produces a character. Through that, better is self will be the pattern. Okay, so anything else on fire water? 
fire comes up, water comes down. As the fire goes through the water and the water goes through the fire, steaming, 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 infers a balanced level. If that felt better than that, through that steam, see, who am I? Who am I? Kind of feels like a stage show where somebody walks through the steam and there's suddenly a character there that kind of has that flavor. Ah, so fire, water, steam. Okay, and again, oh, since they did, uh, I like just the center form of doing it because that's how I first started playing with it. Uh, but figure one day, it'll be uh, <clears throat> the entirety of the center to the entirety of the circle, in which case one would be fire, the other would be water, steam, through the steam, a universal character, and good work through that self, true self, the actual self itself, experiencing itself. Okay, so that was also a, a fairly major with O Sensei. Uh, you can open my this if you like. Anybody well, want to? Well, I have a in? question. Um, would you call that last layout uh, a four count? You know, in the in the four old count? days. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. The way I did it, two count. I would just fire water, fire water, steam self. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I don't count it that way. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I count the beats. So, uh, yes, following two beats. Sean. Yeah, following up on that, um, the ma me mu me mo Me's. is five, as I count it, and. And then I would think that like going back to three would be like really consistent, but, and then you just say you went back to a two, but you counted it sort of like three, you presented it almost like a three. You, you went from a five and I was expecting, okay, here's a three. And then you said, and then you mentioned fire, water, steam. I, hey, don't Sean, know. I haven't the foggiest what you're talking about. Can somebody help me? I missed that. Yeah, okay. It was yeah, just so, a math. So, Sensei, uh, Sean is noting that when you count ya, ya, yi, yu, ye, yo, or mami, mu, me, mo, because Japanese has five vowels, in fact, it's a five count. All right. Each syllable is one. He's counting one. Yeah, so he's saying, oh, look, five. And then yeah. he noticed uh, that. Oh, Sensei, like the vowels, is, uh, a, a, e, i, o, u, is that what they're called? Vowels? Right, right. Okay. Uh, since they like uh, uh, the vowels, so it probably had a deeper meaning to him than what I'm laying out right now. And then fire, water, steam. I believe you're saying that you're counting a two count. Fire and water are the energy movements, and the yeah. steam uh, 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 materializes. It's, uh, it's sort of the breathing. Yeah. Not yet the character. We'll get to the character in a second, but the the steam tells me they're balanced at that level. So, Sean, it's not yeah. a three count, it's a two count. And, Sean, you're muted. Yeah, somehow. there's that. You see, we could do it different. I, I presented one time up and down as a male. So one of them's a male, one of them's a female. And I asked you guys to tell me which was which for you. <laughs> And yeah, it's pretty easy for you to pick up. You all picked it up. You go, oh yeah, that's fe oh that's male. Oh okay, all right. What happens when male and female get together? Bing, a production. <laughs> There's going to be a self of the character there. They produce the character, mix the character, bred a character. Uh, so we come at this with different words and different ways. Uh, oh, in fact, Noah, stand by. Um, and they'll be like essentially the same, but they'll be, because you're using a different approach, how to say this, what do I want to say? Uh, 
let's say the fire water steam character, that character will have attributes uh, that come up easier. In fact, even might say, oh, I'm Mr. Clean. Later it'll be somebody who's pure beingness or something. Uh, okay, there'll be a lot of that cleanliness, that purity, not carrying over a, a karmic thick bullshit, if you would. <laughs> be clear, okay? A different form of doing uh, a he and a she would produce a character, uh, but there might be some uh, different uh, attributes or a little different flavor of that character. Then the steam, through the steam character, the he, she might produce a character me. It's a little bit different. And I should be able to tell you examples right at the top, but I haven't done it for a while. Da -da 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 -da. So, uh, uh, O-sensei said, I think it fits in here, you have your favorite form, but try a few of the others out. It'll be good to do that. Yeah, they get each each style, style gives you a little different flavor. Don't know if I said it well, so I won't try to improve on it. But I do want to call in Noah before we run out of time. Noah, yes, that's Chinese, it. Chinese, fire, water, steam. Tell us about that from what you got from your Chinese. Uh, yeah, Chinese. Uh, my uh, Taiji teacher, Professor Chen Manqing, used to use fire, water, steam a lot. One of the things that it resulted in was what in the Chinese call bone marrow washing, where your bones get heated and then cooled, the bone marrow okay. specifically, and your bones become stronger as a result. It's kind of a tempering process, sort of like the Japanese sword making. Okay. Okay, so I think Chinese style, uh, uh, hair different, but you see the same thing that's going on? There's a heating and a cooling. And because of that heating and cooling, the bones are affected. The character that's being bred is bone oriented. They set it up for bones. I'm gonna do a bone practice. So when I do fire and, or, or heat and cooling, uh, they're highlighting bones. So bones get stronger. Is, is, that, is that okay? All right. Uh, so yeah, and uh, quickly the story, quickly the story, Bob, uh, the guy doubting this nonsense about stronger bones. That professor was, was explaining this process in a class I was in, and one of the guys, this was in New York City in the 70s, so things were kind of wild, and the guy just doubted it. So professor asked him to come up, he held his arm out, he said, hit my arm as hard as you possibly can. And he came down with what looked like a shomenushi, but a really strong one. And as soon as he hit him, his hand started swelling. And Professor actually had to give him herbal medicine to uh, reverse the swelling. Say, so look at, I do this, check my bones out. <laughs> this is not the bullshit theory. Yeah, cute, right. cute story. Yeah, uh, so. And again, the simple basics, uh, uh, even the short form of things, uh, uh, say functioning character right here off the center. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 I want to hit the ball better. Are you there? I want to hit the ball better. Okay. Energies and energies and easy. They'll mix, they'll mix. And, and the batter will adjust a little bit. He'll, he'll make his own adjustment. Okay, you continue, whatever up or whatever down, mixes, 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 a better batter. Mm, ooh, ooh, my, my hips definitely came into play and my, my back shoulders are, are, are looser, stronger, more boom. Not that I'm gonna hit with my shoulders, but they came in as support, those back and shoulders, boom. So just screwing around for a moment, it's mixing of a better batter. What the hell do I know about batting? But I trust the process. I let it mix, okay? Which is different than, I got to correct my batting. Something is wrong with it. What, what's wrong with it? 
It said, no, no, your system will tell you if you settle and open, no a couple of basic tricks of how it works, two energies will harmonize and mix up a better whatever. You want bones? Then you do the Chinese form. You want to be a batter? Then you be a better batter. Okay? So whatever you want to do, just follow the form. Okay? Anything is possible. Okay? Christ tried to tell you, these and greater things shall ye do. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my goodness, time flies. Uh, 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 for the last moment, last moment or two or three here. Uh, something. Autumn, are you on tonight? Yes. Hi. Hi. Autumn, a couple of weeks ago, I thought I jumped over your question or I didn't hear your question. Did any uh, yeah, you, you, I think, answered it quite well later on and quite well tonight as well. Um, oh, just okay. thinking about the uh, challenges that come up when you are kind of bringing up the true self and then sort of balancing that with the situation and how that arises. I understand you're an actress. Is that right? Yeah. Bob said. Okay. Uh, so quick. The situation is the script story, okay? This mix will be the character acting, okay? Some people can get very fast with this pattern. Ah. Uh, some people in acting uh, try to figure out who the character should be. So they don't get this enough. They're, they're trying to understand it. Instead of, no, of course, you, you read the script. If the character has to do something, you read the script. You got a general sense. You don't have to figure it out. You're intel you're the intelligence of the system, and it'll start to mix up that character. And the better you can open and mix up, the better, fuller the character will be. And if the uh, director says, well, ease it back a bit, that character can, okay, ease it back. Or that character could add on to it a bit. Uh, so it can be a very clear acting form. Uh, I bumped into some actors, so I, I thought they didn't quite know how to work things. Yeah. Anyway, good, good luck on your endeavors. Thanks. Uh, we're eight of time. Anybody, anything important? Not important is okay, too. So that's it. I got anything out of uh, Bob again. I got one more example yeah. of a beautiful manifestation of this process. I live a fairly short distance from De La Salle High School, which is a small Catholic high school. And the football coach there, his name's Bob Ladisher. He does exactly what you're talking about. He works the players on their physical skills, their abilities, but then he works this inner thing where he has them visualize what's your inner experience of perfection in this. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that approach to coaching high school football, uh, De La Salle won 155 games in a row without a loss. Oh, he made a, oh. uh, a movie about it. And then the movie, it said it was the longest winning streak of any team at any sport at any level anywhere in the world in any century yes. <laughs> and they haven't lost yeah. a conference game in 31 years <laughs> okay uh so that inner quest okay so yeah do your da 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 but then kind of like well why am i doing this for this inner one to be allowed to show and after a while, the inner one becomes the, I don't want to say dominant force, the underlying force, the underlying intelligence, the underlying radiation. It's inner outer. Uh, people tend to misunderstand and go outer and now more outer and more outer, like the two-step. Do it faster. Do it stronger. 
do 4,000 in a row. See if you can do 4,000 and they're doing it outer. That's nice. There's nothing wrong with that if you want to be an exercise freak, but we're into inner, inner work, inner development with the sense that inner development will produce a better life for you. Okay. So it's not some spiritual thing that's way off after you die kind of thing, but I'll bring that up again because there's so many white hairs out there. Uh, uh, but just even a little bit of this, you function better. Well, we all want to function better, okay? Oh, I remember Lauren asked me to mention, uh, and it follows this pattern. Uh, again, I guess some people have been asking about it, about uh, being perturbed or being bothered, being thrown, because the world is starting to open up, okay? All right. so soon, you won't have to wear a mask. And soon, you can eat in a restaurant. And soon, you can train in a dojo. So we're starting to be, the situation is changing, okay? Now, where some people might get thrown is they don't realize, oh, I got to do this part now. As this opens up, who do I have to be? I'll use my word. Who do I have to be? And I let the energies mix. Ah, the person that is, starts to be okay with the world opening up. Okay. And at first I just get a piece of it. I, I feel a little bit better, but I'm not sure quite how I'm going to work through the world or what's out there for me. But we've got to start someplace. Again, the world is opening up. Now, who's the character? And I let the energy mix, 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 mix up a better character to re-enter the world. Okay, so it's a hell of an opportunity that that people have turned into a problem. Gee, I'm 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 queasy because the world is opening up and I don't know what to do. And I'll well, yeah, well here, here's what you do. Okay, uh, uh, autumn, the script changed. What do I do? You're aware of what changed? Vaguely even. The world's opening up. Okay. And then trust this center part because they're in harmony. So whatever, this will mix a whoever to match the whatever. They're in harmony. That's a law. That's an original law. Okay. So uh, we don't have to, in a certain way, work so hard. We all tend to work too hard. Uh, instead of allowing the naturalness of things to unfold, okay? I'll say they would tell me you know, over and over, not though it's so easy, but you gotta catch it. Now, slowly but surely we're hacking at it. Uh, I call that my dump factor, but I believed what he said, okay? Position properly, things will maneuver the way they maneuver, okay? Just make sure you're positioned properly. Okay, uh, not just an idea. Oh, I believe that. Nothing's going to happen, really. Not really, not really. I believe it. Now I'm going to sit in the middle of that belief with these dot and D and sense experience, allow a change, and see what unfolds. I trust the system. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sensei. Right. And uh, I think that uh, you've reached a really nice point where perhaps uh, we should just uh, say thank you. And uh, unless somebody has something more they want to uh, dialogue with uh, Neto Sensei. I ain't going anywhere. My pizza's not here yet. Feel free. So I had an observation. This is Eugene. Okay, it's um, Eugene. Yeah. Eugene. I noticed that uh, the practice, fire water practice. And Gene, practice. could you please move your microphone close to yourself? Even Thanks. more, okay. Is it okay now? No. Uh, okay, what about now? Yes. There Thank you me. go. All right. So I noticed that fire water practice uh, required of me significantly more than previous practice of up and down. Uh, almost to the point then when uh, there is a contrast between fire and water, it almost felt like an external situation which uh, unbalances me. 
and I found okay, that wait. I had conflict. Conflict. Yeah. Is that what you said? I said I said external external uh, situation which required me to kind of unsettled me when fire was uh, swapped for water. I felt uh, uncomfortable. I had to open up significantly more to let it be. And once after three, four cycles of that, once it actually all settled, it was significantly more rewarding uh, than previous uh, previous practice with just up and down. If you if were here, uh, some months back, we did a he, she practice that if we're at a tighter level of things, they bitch at each other. It's which sounds a little bit like what you said. They they kind of in conflict with each other. Right. But as we get to easy, settle, let them bitch, but settle. Oh, they're not bitching quite as much. Easy, settle. We're moving into finer dimension. So soon, hey, they like each other. Soon they're going to get it on with each other. Has to happen. That's the law. Okay. So, so yeah, uh, in smaller space, those things can conflict. But in their finer states, they don't conflict. That's an Aikido thing. Lesser states, we conflict. I force you, you force me. I want to hurt you, you want to hurt me. That's what we do in lesser. Okay? When we're more animalistic or normal human. <laughs> but as we settle and open, whoa, this, this is different. You know, it's being controlled, controlled, that word. It's being handled through a more harmonious sense of things. Okay, but remember where we started. I hit you, you hit me. I hit you with a rock. You hit me with two rocks. I hit you with a big club. You hit me with a sword. <laughs> finer dimensions, finer dimensions. And the more true of laws can happen. So, yeah, yeah, and yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And anyone else? I have a question. Maybe it's kind of a stupid question, but. Um, Amy, yes. I think those things they told me once they're no stupid. <laughs> there are no, okay. And if you didn't, I'll say they're no stupid questions. Okay. Well, I've been working a lot on self, like trying to have more self arise and act from a self place rather than. Okay. something uh, else but wouldn't we want that isn't you you're talking about <laughs> finding a character and then that character is acting right but wouldn't the ideal thing something that you would really want is to be the self as the actor yeah. yes yes that's where we're going mm -hmm. but until I feel that you're at a finer level of sensing, which I think is the potential doorway for self to actually begin to show, that people will have an idea about self. I'm self, I'm, I'm a pure self. And it's like, no, 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 I don't mean your idea. I don't mean your feeling. I don't mean your finer feeling. Uh, it's through sensing and finer sensing that I think self can begin to show. So yes, you're correct. I don't know what to say, but don't jump the gun. Ugh. But I, I, I think it's cool that, that you're getting in the habit of acknowledging someplace here there is a self. And if the self were present, actually, ah, and then just do whatever you're doing. But at least you're acknowledging. And, and there's, I think that calling of it uh, helps it to show through, uh, all right? So I'm fine with that. Uh, but I don't want to dispense, for example, with the character because the character has some good tricks that will need even that self will want to show. For example, the character properly has good feeling as well as uh, awareness of himself. He feels himself. He just doesn't think about himself. He feels in herself. In this case, he feels her, she feels herself. Uh, uh, that's why I keep pushing on that actual feeling of, 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 of depth, to get that, that center better. Because when we move into the self, uh, I don't want an upper aware self. 
That's it will repeat an old problem from the beginning of creation where we were heavy on awareness and we lost our presence. And from that moment on, that really helped in the screw up. And I'll lay that out again another day more clearly, I hope. Uh, but self should be full. Okay. And by having a fuller uh, character, then when we move past that level into self, uh, self will have, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, make up word. Self itself will feel its own aliveness. You just won't be thinking and be aware. So a lot of folks in finer dimensions are cool on awareness. And it's nice, they can see finer things and they can zip here and zip there. It's really cool, but you're not going to get to the heavenly underlying this uh, by doing that. It, the rules of the game are fullness and then through the fullness, there is the before of this creation or what else that they called heavenly, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but just awareness alone, it won't go through. Oh, you'll pick up some beautiful, fine dimensions. Oh, it's nice. Been there, done that. Beautiful. Wow. You're hanging out with, with like angels and celestial choir. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. But something's missing, which many of them don't catch. It's so beautiful, they don't catch something's missing, okay? The fullness of that. So use the character uh, to prepare yourself. Use the character and its fullness to then when self starts to show, it'll be a fullness of, 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 of self, not just the awareness of self. Sorry, that's the best I can do at the moment. My pizza's here. I think I have to dash. If you have any questions, Amy, you have my number. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And so, since uh, make pizza it, delivery, according to the pizza clock, it's time to close class. Yeah. And so, thank yeah, you so much for uh, people. I'm out of here. And thanks, thanks for class. For thanks out. everybody for thank being you, here. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you very much, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, thank you, sensei. sensei. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Enjoy sensei. your pizza. Enjoy. <laughs> of course. I'm feeling hungry already. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Lauren. Bye, See Lauren. you next week. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Cheers.